Okay, we're getting somewhere. We we blew some stuff out. It's got this thing going. We got this over here. We picked up a ton of trash over here. And then in front on the railroad tracks on our way to my uncle's. We can't, it's, it's difficult to get there. But the rest of this is gonna go over there. We're not ready to plaster this wall yet. And then we've got Audrey been making some magic. She's always making magic, I'm telling you. So it's way cleaner than it was. And we are, uh, we're moving forward on a whole like epic scale. And now, still a little bit more to pick up out here, but it was way, that's the bag of garbage we got just from the tracks over here because people like to throw their garbage around. I'm gonna start throwing it in their cars when I see them throwing garbage. I'm just informing people, hey dude, you can't do this, it's stupid. You know? So it's looking pretty good. Killing it. Killing it. This is a bunch of Doña Chayo stuff over here. And then you can see we got a little burn pile going. And one last thing, let's check out Audrey's magic that she's got going on. Boom. Ooh, magic soup. And then got this all cleaned up and stuff. It's gonna be epic, man. We're building a bed out of concrete bricks. <laughs> With this beautiful little nieces. Almost. Yeah, you little kitchen mint on the next on to the next one. So we've come and we've painted a whole bunch and we've been here for a few days and we've been working on stuff and it's just there's so much to do and there's not really a place for a lot of the stuff at the moment. And in the house, even painting the floors, it's gonna be pretty great once we're done. But it's in process. We have a lot to do. So if you come out, and if you look to the left, you know I got a little bit of tools here and I'm about to put this gate up here and then probably gate this whole area in. This is the main road here that goes over to the mango farm. And then if you actually look over here, you can see the entryway to Atonalisco. It literally goes the whole, the city's back there. It's not even a city, it's like a small pueblo, it's a small town. But this is like a little wash basin or bathtub, whichever you choose. We got this over here. We got a bunch of building supplies, which is really cool. I'm gonna ask my uncle if I can use some of these. This, is, I mean, everything was just in shambles. I mean, it hasn't been used in 10 years. So, you know, we got our hammocks up and we got the little space out back here. Starting to clean all this insanity up. We've gotten about six bags of garbage and probably a truckload of, of plastic and nastiness that's just been on the property. So we're basically getting rid of all of it. And bus is looking good. Got some things where we got to fix our our watering system because our, our water, our tamaco up top, if you see the rotopoli up on the top right there of the house, it actually only fills to about a quarter. So we need to figure that out. I'm, uh, I've already looked into it with a couple neighbors. So we're on it. Things are happening. This is good. And uh, we'll show you a little bit more. We'll show you more of the place in a little, you know, a little bit later. Like I said, there's a ton of work still to be done. And... We've only just begun. This little gate started to come out here. We're gonna take this all out, we're gonna clean this all up. It's gonna be a little oasis, put a garden back here. 
It's going to be absolutely beautiful. I'd like you guys to know exactly how much flow really means to me. It's like, life is just not the same without flow. It's literally the only... It's better than sex. I love you. Love you. No, flow is literally better than sex. It's just... It's just like the best stress relief. And I'm so excited about getting a prop wall up and getting all my stuff up and then starting to work on my my flow arts and build more props because I've got a bunch of ideas that I've been thinking about for a long time. But we were in transition in Cabo and we were doing all this stuff and now we're in transition here. So it's like we're, we're hunkering down here. They're, we're definitely not leaving this place. I mean, even this house, it's not it's not ours, it's my uncle's. But we have a house next door that's my dad's and I'm gonna go fix that up and I'm actually, I think I'm gonna turn it into a ferreteria, which is what they call here, it's like a hardware store. And because they really need one here at the ranch. And then I'm thinking I might open a gas station too. So these are really great ideas for businesses that are gonna work and Audrey's gonna actually turn the front of this place into a yoga flow studio. And we're also going to get into her making healthy alternative soaps and stuff for people and selling them here. So we're really doing what we can and we've been getting everybody into the whole fluoride thing and get them to understand that it's in the salt here in Mexico and they need to, you know, not have it in the salt. So we're basically trying to inform people that the fluoride's in the salt and the toothpaste and they need to get it out, not use it anymore. So this is a really good start. I'm so stoked that I've got my poi back. <laughs> so stoked. And I'm gonna be flowing all the time again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our rooftop space is sick. I just need to put a ladder up there. I'm stoked. My Tia Chava came over because we lost power and we've been having kind of a water issue, so we're gonna go up there and fix it. And he, uh, he got our power going again. It was just like a bad fuse, so we're good. Gonna get up there and get it all fixed up. Okay. I'm gonna fix it with this. All right, so I'm gonna get up here and get the compressor going. 